He runs while people get low as jets pass over. He runs behind military trucks, and a lot of people do. He asks her to stay here and goes for Robbie. Rangers stop people and him. Tanks are going in, there is no impact on tripods. People have to get somewhere safer, and they will try to keep stopping the tripods here. There are helicopters and a herd of them on the way. There is a full-scale attack on the tripods now. Robbie wants to go fight them. A couple gets to her and asks to get along. He says he loves him and can't let go. He sees the couple arguing to take her along. Robbie says he will have to let him go and calls him daddy. He gets up and sees him. Both run their ways. The army orders all Black Six to attack at full scale. He takes her and hears full destruction and army vehicles burning in flames returning back, and he screams for Robbie. There is a whole army of tripods destroying all air forces and ground forces in an instant. A man with a gun is calling for people and takes them in and closes it. He takes a lantern and checks them out, asks them if they are all right. He doesn't reply. He tries to get her to calm down and fall asleep, and says they must find Robbie in Boston. He is hearing them. Her mama must be making that boring tea in the kitchen like always. She had won third prize in running. Wants him to sing Lullaby and Goodnight, Hushabye Mountain. He doesn't know either one. He turns to sleep. He stays with her and sings this. I'm not bragging, babe, so don't put me down. Cause I got the fastest wheels, set of wheels in town. Something comes up to me, they don't even try. Cause if I had a set of wings, man, you know she could fly. She's my little deuce coo cries while being grateful for having her. He asks for a peach schnapps drink, takes it and thanks him. He's sorry for his son. He has lost everyone. He's Harlan Ogilvy. He's Ray Ferrier. He offers to stay since he has supplies. He says they buried the machines and tripods very long ago, even before humans came to Earth. Did he ever think about it? They squeezed powerful countries in a snap, and it is no war. It's destruction and extinction of mankind. He moves. He's very scared. He has seen many people dying since he used to drive an ambulance. Those who survive, they don't give up before the hospital and keep their eyes on everything and keep the courage to live and survive. He has sworn to stay alive. He thanks him for letting them in. There are sounds coming and quakes. The bunker falls. He wants to show him something, removes it and they see them right outside. Some of these were killed in Osaka, Japan. They can do it as well. They will find a way. Takes her and makes her sit tight and opens the window to see them. It's a stormy situation outside. He brought them here to fight together. They will attack in surprise when they stop just from under their feet. There are blood nerves everywhere. He checks it out. They have dried and are all around where the tripods are passing. He hides as he is hearing something. He calls Rachel and makes her sit here. He can't talk to her. He can talk to him. He asks if he wants to get caught himself. He can hear something. Sounds have stopped. He asks him to just shut his mouth and listen. It's here. Gets back. It turns the lights on and moves around. It follows a rat and he gets near her, asks her to get there and go around as it rounds. It moves ahead. Harlan takes an ax and moves to attack. Ray stops him with signs. He doesn't attack and gets across to them. Love makes noise and they have to run. Takes a mirror and they hide behind it. It sees its reflection. Looks up ahead at it but at a distance and moves back. Her foot slides. It's seeing her boot and gets right here and here it is. Moves back and gets out of here. She clears her hair and sees water coming towards them since species are here. Turns the lantern off and hides. They look just like their tripods and are smaller. They breathe like medium-sized giant monsters. Gets up and is right beside her but doesn't see and moves. They move as they get here. They move ahead while he loads the gun and takes aim. Ray moves him back and keeps stopping him. They are playing with stuff around like newbies to these things. She sees them. They are checking out photos and passing them up. There are sounds up there from tripods and they move back up. He says they both can't be on the same page. There are sounds still coming and bloodlines are spreading and more is splashing and raining. He can feel it. Gets to screaming Harlan and sees it. He runs. It's putting a human down and with another tube, it sucks his entire blood. This all raining is real blood. Sees her and tries to hide it. Hears him and gets to him. He is scared of being sucked. Ray keeps asking him to shut up. He wants to leave through this tunnel. He hits him and says they will resist. He gets up to her, hugs her, and blindfolds her, and asks her to not take it off and sing that Hushabai Mountain lullaby. Gets here to him and closes the door and Harlan is screaming. She keeps saying it and stops. There is water splashing only. Opens the door. She takes it off and sees him and gets to him. He has killed him to save her. Both fall asleep here. She's up and can't sleep. Hears a sound. The machine is right here at her and screams aloud. 
He takes the axe and hits it repeatedly. She runs up, 